Hey guys, it's Scott here at uh, What a Mess uh, House Projects, and uh, what you guys are looking at is the new combi boiler, uh, heat and hot water. Um, they, today's Monday, so they came in today. They got her put on the wall, as you can see here, with the cushion tank and all the fancy piping, and. They got to come back tomorrow, uh, hook up the gas, and uh, finish up the wiring and a few odds and ends. But uh, yeah, quite the system compared to what they used to be, that's for sure. And uh, about ten thousand dollars sitting right here, and that doesn't even include hooking it up to the heating system, as you can see. There's two pipes with nothing on it. Well, that was supposed to be up to me to do. I gotta go pick up a sheet of plywood, which I found out today was a little outrageous. $45 for a sheet of crap plywood, but I gotta get that to put up there. Then I have to put in uh, two manifolds. Uh, eventually, there's gonna be nine zones in this house. So I was kind of looking at that today, and uh, damn near dropped of a heart attack, because by the time you get it all said and done, it's probably going to cost $2,000 to put the uh, manifold in, just here, where you know, I have to hook up, um, uh, build it myself, which is like 9 or 10, depending what I do here, uh, T's. From a one inch to a three quarter inch, and then they'll go into the zone valves, and then I have to buy two more transformers uh, because you're only allowed four per four zones per transformer. So I'm gonna need another two of those, and I think zone valves are eighty bucks or something a piece or ninety bucks. And then valves are like $15 a piece shutoff valves. And you need like 30 of them because you need two per zone valve and then one on the return. And by the time you get the elbows in, the adapters, blah, 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 blah. I should have got them to do it. And that doesn't even include all the piping. So, got some of this mess cleaned up. Well, they didn't take the boiler out. And I took the boiler apart. They just moved it over here because it was in the way. And I took it apart and stripped it. Since I'm standing where the boiler used to be. The oil tank's still here. Apparently they're supposed to be coming tomorrow. I thought they would have been here today. Because I cleared all this section out and everything from the uh, take it out. And now they got a, the boiler sitting here. So, I don't know what the hell they're going to do. I mean, I'm not cleaning this shit out. Yeah. It's too bad, so sad for them. Because apparently it's another company that comes and takes this out. The guys that uh, the plumbing don't. But yeah, it's quite the compact. Oh, and they also got to take out the uh, cushion tank that's there. I won't have to worry about hanging, banging my head on that either. So uh, yeah, this is kind of the funny part. Because <laughs> here's the stairs. And here's the gas line. And the intake and the uh, exhaust, three inch pipe. Well, I kind of told them to put it there because eventually these stairs are coming out. So I didn't really care and it was the easiest place to vent it out because the meter's there and everything's going to this side. I don't want all this crap all over the house because I guess apparently they wanted to take it all the way to the other end of the house and out the back, which was not going to work well with putting a deck and everything there and want getting pipes hanging out of there so but the sensor outdoor sensors way over there they, they got to put it on the north wall so anyway uh, i just thought i'd uh, give you a little update of uh, what was going on i forgot i was going to do a video on sunday when i uh, cleaned this all up and made room so once this is all in it looks like probably this chimney's going finally God, I hope so. I can't wait to see that day. Anyway, talk to you later, guys. I'll probably make a next, uh, next part to this when this is completed tomorrow. All right, talk to you later. Bye. 
Hey guys, I'm not sure if you guys ever seen the inside of a natural gas boiler domestic hot water combination unit, but I thought I'd give you a peek inside of it uh, before they come back tomorrow and uh, hook it up. So this here is the uh, front end of it, which is the panel for the input and display. They give you a little extra fuse here. I guess that's where the little fuse goes in here. A little bit of the wiring and this little door thing here opens on this one and then you get to see inside um, this is where all the main wires connect up as you could say um, like these two here or if you have more of these because apparently you can hook up to 16 of these together you get uh, your uh, like sent there's a sensor wire here for the system then this one here is for like the outdoor sensor and then these two here for your thermostat um, if you have a hot water tank uh, this is a recirculation pump one here this one is the uh, circulator pump for the hot water and then there's this uh, circulator pump inside for the boiler that goes around primary loop they call it and then you get your two main uh, your main main wires coming in for 120 volts and uh like i said here they're actually very simple units there's not really a whole lot to it i mean here is your um, circ primary circulation pump uh, back there there is um these little plates that is what heats your hot water what it does Jeez, this thing is bumping my arm. This is the main burner part here. Oh, I'm getting a little too close. Ah, oh, get up off my knees. Boy, you guys are gonna be dizzy by the time I'm done with this. Anyway, this is the burner. And with this burner, the water is on the outside, goes around it, so it heats the hot water around the outside of it. Some of them use tanks, but this one, I think it's something like three gallons of water, heats the water around the outside, and then it goes in and out the pump are these pipes but to heat the hot water what it does is send the water that it heats through here into the sandwich of plates and then it sends the cold water up from the thing into the plates and they crisscross they never touch each other because you know hot water pipe and drinking water wouldn't go well together so they just it, by contact con through those plates they uh, heat the hot water the only thing is is with these units it can't do two things at once so it can't heat the house and it can't do the hot water at the same time so it makes the hot water priority so if you turn on the tap it stops heating the house and heats the hot water and then when you're done with the hot water it goes back to heating your house I mean, the average person's shower, whatever, is 20 minutes or something. So you really wouldn't really notice, I guess. But anyway, this is the uh, little regulator thing, controller for the natural gas part. That's the uh, air blower, which is the, your intake from up here. The intake pipe goes all the way down. And these are your igniters. An external igniting switch. I think this has two. There's one for the main board and there's an external just in case I guess one doesn't work or something. Like I said, and that's your heating plates and your circulator. And that's pretty well, that's all it is. And it heats a house and heats your hot water. So anyway, I thought you'd just take like to take a look inside of one. Anyway, uh, like I said, tomorrow I'll... Uh, film the rest of uh, this which probably won't be a whole lot other than this thing running and uh, that'll be it so we'll talk to you later hey guys it's Scott here at uh, what a mess uh, host projects and uh, what you guys are looking at is the new combi boiler uh, heat and hot water um, they, today's Monday so they came in today they got her put on the wall as you can see here with the cushion tank and all the fancy piping and they got to come back tomorrow 
uh, hook up the gas and uh, finish up the wiring and a few odds and ends but uh, yeah quite the system compared to what they used to be that's for sure and uh, about ten thousand dollars sitting right here and that doesn't even include hooking it up to the heating system as you can see there's two pipes with nothing on it well that was supposed to be up to me to do I gotta go pick up a sheet of plywood which I found out today was a little outrageous $45 for a sheet of crap plywood but I gotta get that to put up there then I have to put in uh, two manifolds uh, eventually there's gonna be nine zones in this house so I was kind of looking at that today and uh, damn near dropped of a heart attack because by the time you get it all said and done it's probably going to cost two thousand dollars to put the uh, manifold in just here where you uh, have to hook up um, uh, build it myself which is like nine or ten depending what I do here uh, tees from a one inch to a three quarter inch and then they'll go into the zone valves and then I have to buy two more transformers uh, because you're only allowed four per four zones per transformer so I'm gonna need another two of those and I think zone valves are 80 bucks or something a piece or 90 bucks and then valves are like $15 a piece shutoff valves and you need like 30 of them because you need two per zone valve and then one on the return and by the time you get the elbows in the adapters blah 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 I should have got them to do it and that doesn't even include all the piping so got some of this mess cleaned up well they didn't take the boiler out and I took the boiler apart they just moved it over here because it was in the way. And I took it apart and stripped it. Since I'm standing where the boiler used to be. The oil tank's still here. Apparently they're supposed to be coming tomorrow. I thought they would have been here today. Because I cleared all this section out and everything from the uh, take it out. And now they got a, the boiler sitting here. So, I don't know what the hell they're going to do. I mean, I'm not cleaning this shit out. Yeah. It's too bad, so sad for them. Because apparently it's another company that comes and takes this out. The guys that, uh, the plumbing, don't. But yeah, it's quite the compact. Oh, and they also got to take out the, uh, cushion tank that's there. I won't have to worry about hanging, banging my head on that either. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of the funny part. Because <laughs> here's the stairs. And here's the gas line and the intake and the uh, exhaust three inch pipe well, i kind of told them to put it there because eventually these stairs are coming out so i didn't really care and it was the easiest place to vent it out because the meter's there and everything's going to this side i don't want all this crap all over the house because event i guess apparently they wanted to take it all the way to the other end of the house and out the back which was not going to work well with putting a deck and everything there i didn't want Freaking pipes hanging out of there, so. But the sensor, outdoor sensors, way over there. They, they got to put it on the north wall. So anyway, uh, I just thought I'd uh, give you a little update of uh, what was going on. I forgot I was going to do a video on Sunday when I uh, cleaned this all up and made room. So once this is all in, it looks like probably this chimney's going. Finally. God, I hope so. I can't wait to see that day. Anyway, talk to you later, guys. We'll probably make a next, uh, next part to this when this is completed tomorrow. All right, talk to you later. Bye.